the five key takeaways from WrestleMania 34 New Orleans. It's as if they script this stuff. On a night that saw the return of The Undertaker, as well as the first Daniel Bryan victory in a WWE ring in nearly three years, Brock Lesnar blocked Roman Reigns from fulfilling his journey and successfully defended the Universal Championship in a finish that stunned the crowd at the Mercedes Benz Superdome. In this smoky little honkaton of Louisiana called the Land of Dreams, an estimated crowd of 78,133 saw Ronda Rousey emerge as a genuine WWE star and AJ Styles enhance his legend. Charlotte Flair also ended Asuka's undefeated streak in a match that stole the show. Shinsu Nakamura returned heel, while Brown Strowman won the tag team titles with a child named Nicholas as his partner in a WrestleMania that was good if not great. Here are the results. Woken Matt Hardy won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal on the WrestleMania of 34 kickoff pre-show Cedric Valley Vander defeated Mustafa Farley to become the new WWE Cruiserweight Champion Naomi eliminated Bailey to win the first ever women's WrestleMania Battle Royal Seth Rollins pinned the Miz to win the Intercontinental Championship in a triple threat match that included Finn Balor Charlotte successfully defended the SmackDown Women's Championship over Asuka, ending her undefeated streak Jinder Mantle won the United States Championship in a four-way match over Randy Orton, Ruth Sevy and Bobby Roode. Ron Rousey and Kurt Angle were victorious over Stephanie McMahon and Triple H when Rousey tacked out McMahon the Bludgeon Brothers won the SmackDown tag titles in a three-way match victory over the New Day and USO's The Undertaker defeated John Cena Daniel Bryan forced Sami Zayn to tap, win his tag team match with Shane McMahon against Zayn and Kevin Owens Nia Jax defeated Lexa Bliss to win the Raw Women's title AJ Styles defeated Shinsu Nakamura to successfully defend the WWE title Brown Strowman and a child from the crowd named Nicholas defeated the bar to win the Raw tag team titles Brock Lesnar retained the Universal Championship with a victory over Roman Reigns and here are my five key takeaways from WrestleMania 34 1 Roman Reigns could not fulfill his WrestleMania destiny, as Brock Lesnar successfully defended his Universal title in a match that saw the bloody Reigns fail to win the crowd for the title. The crowd was drained by a show that ran three hours too long and just came off the perplexing decision to have a child win the tag team title with Brown Strowman, but fans in attendance hauled up to rain booze upon Reigns in the main event. The match was physical including a rain spear into the broadcast table and a Lesnar F5 that drove Reigns through the table. Reigns also bled, which is rare in the 2018 version of WWE, with a pool of blood collecting in the center of the ring. WWE set the table for Reigns to be crowned champion in the closing moments of WrestleMania, but the Lesnar title reign instead continues. Reigns could always win the title Monday night on Raw, but one would think that a moment of that significance would occur under the spotlight of the company's signature show. 2. Daniel Bryan returned to the Superdome just like he left it. The return of Bryan, who won the WWE Championship at WrestleMania 30 in New Orleans, caused the crowd to erupt. Bryan played off his classics in the ring, much to the relish of anyone remotely invested in his career. The sight of Brian back in the ring, wrestling against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn, was a remarkable sight. Pro wrestling is a manufactured, well-produced business, but Brian is an anomaly. Much like his diet, Daniel Bryan's appeal is organic. Brian is the top underdog in the business. The decision to have him tap out Sami Zayn was strategic, as that still leaves the door open for a major feud somewhere down the line with Kevin Owens. WWE's decision to celebrate Brian with a victory needs to be applauded. The wrestling world is a far better place with a healthy Daniel Bryan in the ring. Brian's moment, in addition to the AJ Styles flash in Sue Nakamura match, were two of the highlights of the show. Styles and Nakamura planted the seeds for a prolonged feud, first with Styles reversing a Kinshasa into a Styles clash to set up an extremely memorable finishing sequence. Nakamura then turned on Styles in the matches after match with a low blow, generating even more interest in a feud that no one should want to end. Like the company once did with John Cena and The Rock, WWE should build all year toward a rematch between the two at WrestleMania 35. 3. The women have arrived at WrestleMania. The women's division is entirely different than it was the last time WWE had a WrestleMania in New Orleans when the only representation of female athletes was a 14-woman match that finished in less than 7 minutes at WrestleMania 30. Ron Rousey, 
formerly the trailblazing megastar in the UFC, made her WWE debut. This is significant on multiple levels, especially with WWE and UFC both looking for increased television deals. With UFC President Dana White sitting ringside, Michael Cole reminded viewers that WrestleMania 34 was the biggest crowd Ronda Rousey had ever fought in front of, which was a not-so-subtle reminder to the UFC of WWE's drawing power. Charlotte Hasuka served as more than just the best woman's match on the card, as it is in the short discussion for best match on the card, period. The match was a fitting conclusion to the end of Asuka's streak, which had already served its purpose in establishing her as a star on the main roster. If a woman ever he blinds for WrestleMania, Charlotte will be in the match. She is the most talented women's wrestler, by far, in the world. For WrestleMania a 34 stood out for a role of its former world champions, particularly John Cena, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Randy Orton and Bray Wyatt. Cena started off his night by sitting, as promised, in the crowd. Twitter, https colon slash slash twitter dot com slash just in there so slash status slash 983 quadrillion 80 trillion 296 billion 701 million 661 thousand 185 Cena eventually learned someone was in the building, and he went running up the ramp. Cena quickly disposed of Elias in an odd exchange in the ring, before The Undertaker made his return to WrestleMania. The WWE is smart to have Cena's losses continue to pile up. He'll eventually return from Hollywood to chase his record-breaking 17th WWE World Championship and will enter that story arc as close as he possibly can to playing the underdog. As for The Undertaker, his return and match that lasted just under three minutes with Cena certainly detracts from the once heralded moment at the end of WrestleMania 33 that appeared to be the final farewell to The Undertaker. Give credit to Shawn Michaels, who seems to be the only major WWE star to refuse a comeback after his retirement. WWE continues to work hard to re-establish Rollins as a main event player. Rollins was once the company's fastest rising star and actually closed out WrestleMania of 31 in an extremely memorable moment with his world title win. Even though he is miscast as a babyface, which hurts because he is the perfect villain, Rollins now has the opportunity to add even more value to his stock and the Intercontinental title. The IC title match also highlighted how the company remains unwilling to fully invest in Finn Balor. Balor was introduced last after both Seth Rollins and The Miss, and had a tremendous entrance that touched on the real-life number sign for reverie in movement and promoted inclusion. But he was not victorious and took a backseat to Rollins. There remains a divide between Vince McMahon and Paul Triple H Levesque over Baylor's future. Triple H has pushed for Baylor as a main eventer ever since his run as NXT champion, while McMahon has always believed Baylor, whether in a leather jacket or as the demon, is too small to be the face of the company. Randy Orton is a former 13-time WWE World Champion, yet he is an afterthought in the title picture. Even that, however, is better than the fate of his former tag team partner, Bray Wyatt, who remarkably did not even make it to the main card after defending the WWE Championship against Orton only a year ago at WrestleMania 33. 5. In December of 2013, I had the chance to sit backstage with Hangle at a TNA show in Lowell, Massachusetts. I don't know what Angle was told to expect before the interview, or if he even knew we were going meeting for an in-depth conversation. I can't still picture him, sitting across from me in his singlet, Olympic wrestling t-shirt, and cup of coffee in hand. Over the course of the next 25 minutes, Angle opened up about the loss of his father, who lost his life in a horrific construction accident. He spoke glowingly of his old USA wrestling coach slash mentor, David Schultz who could not be present for Angle's momentous gold medal ceremony because he had been shot and killed only months prior. He spoke of how the wrestling match became his solace, and later in life, how Vince McMahon put his life back on track and the WWE gave him an entirely new purpose. Vince is all business, Angle told me as he nervously tapped his coffee stirred against his legs. But when the curtain goes down, he's also a great friend. He was like a father figure to me. I have a lot of respect for him. I have to give him credit for taking what I had and producing it the way he did. It was a blessing. If it weren't for him, I wouldn't be sitting here right now. A lot has happened since. Angle has shown that he can live a clean life, 
He was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame a year ago and the team of Angle and Rowdy delivered one of the matches of the night at Mania. Angle's hand being raised alongside Rowdy is a moment that will resonate with me long after WWE shifts its focus away from WrestleMania at 34. Angle and Rowdy defeated Stephanie McMahon and Triple H yes. The same Triple H who called Angle three years ago before WrestleMania a 31 and told him that WWE wasn't interested in hiring him and that they were cancelling their meeting the end of Angle's wrestling career is far closer than the beginning. He's 49, and his job now is to enhance the talent around him. The night was far from perfect, with the Jinder Mantle victory and Brown Strowman storyline two of the more curious decisions to digest. Still, there were plenty of moments to remember. With Daniel Bryan's return, Ron Rousey's in-ring performance and Charlotte Flair's victory topping that list. And, for one night, Kurt Angle returned to glory at WrestleMania.